Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and mini tutorial and today we're going to be talking about Aculips uh, lip sync animation for iClone 7.9. This is a very very exciting update guys and I can't wait to dig in and show you some of the things that are first impressions of why I'm super excited uh, for all of us out there especially as indie filmmakers and storytellers and this is a character that I've picked as a subject matter as a case study to show the improvements of this uh, new uh, feature for iclon 7.9 so guys if you're new to my channel i kindly ask that uh, you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell after you click subscribe so you're notified when i hit uh, when i uh, not hit <laughs> when i upload a new video and as always i welcome questions and comments and i'll do my best to answer all those comments that come in and uh, thank you so much for all my patrons out there look guys we are, we are really growing super quick thank you for your support i am super super uh grateful for that i appreciate it guys thank you for your support so today we're going to talk about lip sync animation uh this is a, this has been a major update that uh, Realusion has set out and aculips is one of those things that uh, you might not understand the power of until you start playing with it and especially if you don't have an iphone right because the facial animation uh, this one at the top here, the 3D facial animation, the, uh, the new Im improvements with the uh, AR kit introductions and you know update to the live face and live live face uh, app and also motion live. It's all it's geared more towards if you own an iPhone, right? But if you don't have an iPhone, this is the next best thing to use in iClone, and it's uh, for automatic lip sync animation. With you can create your own text file you can use a text file or you can use an audio file from your voice actor okay so for for this uh, quick insight i'm gonna be talking about um aculips the lip sync that works <laughs> it actually works the, that that is not uh, uh like just advertising jargon it actually works and i am very very impressed with their process the test that i've done so far and so what i'm gonna do today is uh as a quick test uh there's this clip that i i down i uploaded somewhere back in november of 2020 and let me play it real quick so you get a sense so i want i took this audio and uh, narrated the same uh line let's hear it i've been to the edge and back i am often asked what matters the most to you in life my answer is always the same i answer all right so i'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check it out in full and give it a like <laughs> so i wanted to see how well the aculips could come close to because this is a, an iphone 10 result you know and i wanted to see how well this would translate to uh, iclone 7.9 okay and so this is what i'm gonna show you real quick before i dig into it so i'm gonna play back this animation that i created with uh, aculips i have been to the edge and back i am often asked what i value most in life my answer is always the same i reply that i am a man of many appetites why confine me to one meal when I could enjoy all of them. What do I value most in life? Everything. So guys, I mean, look at that. This was done in a matter of minutes. I'm talking minutes. This animation in the past would have taken you hours and hours of uh, animation and editing to just achieve the facial animation that you see right here and i hope to do a, a, a like a more in-depth uh, uh, tutorial of how i was able to achieve this but what you i wanted to point out is that so the lips right here if i bring up the timeline you can actually see the words how they've been assigned to like the different parts and how it has actually broken it up into the different phrases and the different uh phonemes it's like incredibly accurate <laughs> it is definitely much more improved than the previous version of uh 
text to like to audio that the script when you input a, a script into iClone this has been greatly greatly improved and I think you can see by the result I mean this this to me is impressive we can imagine if I had if you have hours and days to even it's as a put into your short film or, or you know a series or whatever this is a really really good tool to use and so what is really neat about it is that you can layer it so when i did the first take it didn't even have the blinking right so that's where this are uh, combining the facial the live face link and archilips works really well because what you see here let me play it i have been to the edge and back so that blinking is not keyframed. I did not keyframe that blinking. That blinking came from the motion live and live face profile. So I was able to first do Archilips, and then after I did the Archilips, then I did the blinking using the iPhone 10. And that's how it's really how awesome it is that you can layer these things together. <laughs> so guys, I really really hope that you you guys can get it get time to dig into this uh, the Archilips uh, facial animation. And like I said, I'm going to do my best to do like an in-depth story of how I achieved this. But clearly, even without uh, much work, you, there's a lot that can be achieved in a short period of time. And that's why I think uh, iClone 7.9 is a big, big update. This character came from uh, Character Creator 3. Point, uh, the 3.0. Uh, well, I think there's a point there somewhere. This is not even a 3.4 character. This is actually a character that came from the previous model and you can also convert this model into a 3.4 a 3 version so that it can use so the way you know that this is not a 3.4 uh, iClone character uh, when you select on, on the character for example and I'm just doing this as a by the way and you go to animation and then you go to face key and you go to modify you see how they are, the, these are missing so you don't have the uh, the AR kit blend shapes in here. That's how you know if this character is a 3.4 model or any model, any character that you pick up, if it's com compatible with AR kit. And so, but the fact that I'm able to actually do the facial animation on top of it, together with Archilips, is awesome. So you can, if you bring in a character that has that 3.4 like blend shapes and these are AR kit morphs, it even works much better. There's like a, a major, major improvement in that. So guys, I hope this was a quick, uh, this insight was helpful. And uh, let's take advantage of, advantage of this uh, technology and these storytelling tools, because it's not just about the tool. It's about you finding your script and understanding what the tool can do, and then using that to tell your story. So this is a, a quick thing. Let me go to face key, right? And this again is going to be in the, the in a in the in-depth tutorial that I'm going to do, but this is really quick. I want to show it to you. Go to modify, right, and go to the lips. So here's our animation. I have been to the edge and back. back. I am it's often asked out. what I value most. In okay, but the character looks emotionless. You know, it doesn't have like joy. You know, I mean, he's really being asked. So if you if it's if it's if you want the character to have like joy, frustration, anger, and all these things. So watch what happens. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go up to the very very top. And if I want to add a little bit of joy in this character, I simply go to the very first keyframe, and put a smile. Right. So if I can do this, that means you can do it on every different parts of the timeline and then keyframe them. So watch what happens now. The character is looking like he's happy. So when you play back Archilips, the, the result together with a live face, you know, look what happens. I have been to the edge. Now back. he looks happy. I am often asked what I value most. And if he's looking too happy, you can dial it down some like right there. I have been to the edge and back. Right. I am often asked what I value most in life. My answer is always the same. So look at that. And so I can also reset this. You can just take it back to zero and then go to the expressions. This is like a whole bank of expressions. So if you want him to be like happy, you select on that and then play back. So all these I things you can record. The edge and back. I am often asked. Okay, uh, let's try. Let's go back to default and uh, maybe slightly happy like that. 
I have been to the edge and back. I am often asked what I value most in life. My answer is always the same. I reply that I am a man of many appetites. Why confine me to one meal when I could enjoy all of them? What do I value most in life? Everything. Right, dude. Everything. <laughs> So those are the different things that you can do, you know, to the character, you know, and if he's happy, if you want him to be sad, I don't know, he seems rather happy about what he's talking about, but if he's a uh, fear, you know, you can pick one of these. So this is, this changes the way we animate characters, you know, so like things like that, like if he plays back. I have been to the age and back. <laughs> yeah. I am often asked. What I value most in life. So this is an incredible storytelling tool, guys, that we can layer all these things on top of on top of Aculips, on top of the live face animation, and be able to can go back to default. So just like you've seen me put it on the first keyframe, you can go and apply to the different frames. You can bracket it, do like a, a default, put another art expression in the middle, do a bracket, and then isolate it to just that one area all right so guys i hope that was helpful and let me go back and see i'm gonna finish up with a uh, which one <laughs> this one <laughs> i don't know let's try this and see what it looks like i have been to the edge and back nah no 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 that doesn't look good so let's try let's go back to default let's try uh surprise maybe Nah. So it's maybe angry. I've been to the edge and back. You know, okay, let's see what is kind of I have been to the edge and back. I am often asked what I value most in life. My answer is always the same. I reply that I am a man of many appetites. Why confine me to one meal when I could enjoy all of them? What do I value most in life? Everything. And what is also neat is that so this animation has, you can choose different camera angles, but if you wanted him to speak straight into the camera, then you can just simply click on the model and then go to the uh, animation tab over here, sorry, in the modify tab and look to camera, look at camera over here. And then playback. I have been to the edge and back. I was looking to us all. I am often asked what I value most in life. My answer is always the same. I reply that I am a man of many appetites. Why confine me to one meal when I could enjoy all of them? What do I value most in life? Everything. All right, guys. So I hope that was helpful and insightful. And uh, guys, don't, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today we were talking about the new updates to the lip sync animation. Uh, that's called Aculips. And I'm hoping to do a more in-depth tutorial to show how I am doing all these uh you know nuanced animations and uh i hope that uh i mean this is uh, i'm hoping that we can use this to tell our stories because ultimately if you have a tool and you don't see value in it and i'm hoping that i'm sharing these uh, uh in approaches and things that demonstrations that i am doing so you guys have a a, a, be a better insight of how to use the aculips and i think i am confident in that you guys are gonna pick it up and do incredible things with it but this is going to change the way we animate and i think it's a, a valuable a valuable addition thank you so much reallusion for adding this to our two tool sets you know that we can use to animate the different characters for our stories thank you so much guys i have been to the edge and back i am often asked what i value most and i can then change maybe the weight of the eyes to that i have been to the edge and back i am often asked what i value most in life <laughs>
All right, guys, uh, see you next time with another quick insight editorial. So stay safe. Please don't give up on your dreams. Dare to dream big. Bye for now.